We've added a couple of screens to our text-based adventure game. What I want to do now, before I add more screens, is to add a little bit of functionality to, to see to get all this thing connected and working. So for that we go to code here and we're going to use this on event here. So the idea being that when we interact with this, something happens. So when we, in this case, click on button, we're going to then move to a different screen. So let's let's see what we mean by this. If I could click on the screen welcome here, what I want to happen is when I click on the start button here, I go to this screen here. So that's that's what I want to do. So we're going to enter that in. So on that on the event of clicking on that button, the start button, we go to this screen. So we so we click on here, choose, make sure we've got the right button here. So this is going to be button one. This is why it's a really good idea to give your button sensible names. Mine mine aren't sensibly names, so you need to make sure you sure you do that. But anyway, I know it's I know it's button one here. That's the button on our, on our start screen. So when we click on that button, what I'm going to do is have it so that we change the screen to to our to our next screen here, which is screen first. We're going to set screen to screen first. So the idea being, if we're on the welcome screen, when you click button one, we'll go to screen first. Let's have a look now and test to see if that works. The way we can do that is we click on run here, and this is now in a, in a kind of an emulation simulation mode. We can now test to see if that, that button has worked. So we click on start here, it takes us to the new page, and, that, and that's worked for us. So essentially, the text based game works by clicking on a button and then it taking us to another page. So the principle for entering in. For, for adding the code for these buttons here will be exactly the same as what we've done here except we'll be going to a different screen so the principle is the same and essentially we're going to have lots of these on events set screens on, on each of our different pages but each button will obviously be configured slightly differently to go to a different page